Yeah, I think team play very good, especially when we have five on five, we always dominate, get some sco lots of scoring chances. Uh, like we had chances only on the PK and turnovers, but I think overall, good game. The Nashville Predators know what it's like to win on a Saturday night in Smashville again. 6-4 victory over the New Jersey Devils. Justin Bradford, Penalty Box Radio, coming to you from Bridgestone Arena. Lots of storylines tonight that you could choose from. Hey, there's P.K. Subban's return. Daniel Carr gets his first goal as a Nashville Predator. The shootout one does not count officially in stats. Yakov Trenin getting his first career NHL goal. Rocco Grimaldi setting a new career high in points. Dante Fabro with his first career multi-point night as well. So any of those that you could choose from. Let's hear from Rocco Grimaldi first on his big goal where he poked, checked it away from P.K. Subban, went off on the breakaway to score the goal. Yeah, Eki, uh, he rimmed it around, and um, I didn't think I was actually going to get there. I thought whoever the D was, I didn't know it was PK at the time. I, I thought he was going to get there first because I was a little behind it. Uh, might have slowed up just because of the snow. Um, he made a move. I, I tripped it by him, and thankfully it got by him, and one of our breakaway scored. It was a big night for Yakov Trenin as well. In his second call-up to the NHL from the Milwaukee Admirals, he got his first career NHL goal, and Rocco Grimaldi assisted on that. I feel incredible. I didn't see how Pac went in and uh, just saw red line. Red light behind the net, and I started celebrating too. Did you you felt it? Hit yeah, you? I felt it hit me, and I was hoping it's like go go in the net. So, what did it feel like for Rocco Grimaldi to get that assist on Yakov Trenin's goal? It was awesome. Uh, I played with him a little bit last year, and um, you know, played a lot on the power play with him. And he's always in front of the net, and uh, you know, I remember that from last year. So, um, I was just trying to put a shot on the net, and, and it hit him and went in. And um, just seeing the excitement on his face was was awesome. So, it was really fun. Milwaukee Admirals have been hot of late. They set a franchise record for wins in a row, and they just continue to pounce the competition throughout the AHL. Yakov Trent has been a huge part of that. How do the Milwaukee Admirals help set him up for his second call-up? Uh, yeah, we have a good team there. Like lots of skill, very different. We have bo big, big body toughness, like skill guys. Here is kind of different role for me. There I play for first line, here fourth. It's kind of like need more, play better defense, straight lines. Kind of concentrate more on the D zone. Yeah, I mean, Yax had such a good year, a strong year, um, from training camp that he played here to when he would get sent down to Milwaukee. He was tearing it up offensively, came out, played a game. Uh, we sent him back down. He continued to do what he had done from the beginning of the year. So it was nice to see him get rewarded. So that line with Rocco Grimaldi, Nick Benino, continues to churn the points. Nick Benino, another goal and assist tonight. Here's what Peter Laviolette had to say about that line. Um, yeah, you're right. We tried to keep some glue on that line because they, they've been a productive line, not only from a, a standpoint of offense and, and creating goals and scoring goals and making plays, but um, they get the pucks out of the defensive zone, they get them through the neutral zone, they stay in the offensive zone, they um, generate good numbers. So for me, it's a, you know an opportunity for them just to continue to grow and, and get some continuity together, but I think they've been a, a real solid line offensively. I mean, we have good chemistry. I mean, we, we talk um, on game days and off days. And we talk about what we can do differently, what we can do better, and what we what we like that we're doing, what we need to continue to do. Um, I think me and Smitty up on both wings play a pretty similar game um, with just the way we skate and um, hunt pucks and get pucks back. And then Bones is, you know, the chief of the line. He's so smart and so good offensively and defensively. I mean, he's always aware. And um, he lets me and Smitty take, take risks to, to jump out of the zone with speed. And uh, we know he's going to back us up if something goes wrong. There you have it, National Predators victory Saturday night against the New Jersey Devils 6-4. Up next, the San Jose Sharks come to town Tuesday night. For Penalty Box Radio, this is Justin Bradford.